so I'm sure you've seen these before in my craft updates and so this is what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make today. These are the tools that you will need to make your ice cream scoops. So this time I'm going to use Daiso clay but you can use any type of air dry clay or any clay you want. But since this is white clay I'm going to be coloring it pink with some red paint and then I use a toothbrush to give the texture, to, to give it texture and a toothpick just for you know making the shape better. And these are just plastic measuring spoons that I got at Daiso and they're four different sizes. And you do not need to have the measuring spoons but it's easier to get a rounded shape with them so I suggest using these. And they don't have to be measuring spoons, you could, I guess you could use like a round lid or anything that gives you the round shape. And yeah, today I'm going to be using this size. So, I got my clay colored. And it is a pink, so it's going to be strawberry. And if you want it a lighter pink, just use less paint. If you want it a darker pink, use more paint. But I think if you use too much more paint, it'll turn more red. So, take some of your clay and your measuring spoon. And you can put baby oil on your measuring spoon if you want. I don't but it makes it easier to take out if you do so just press it in lightly make sure it's filled to the top which is kinda hard to tell but then just kinda pop it out and you can see that there's still some dents so I'm gonna push it in some more and let's try to pop it out there we go so it still has some dents but I'm gonna work with this because if I push it in too much more it won't come out so tear off some of that extra, you don't want to take it all off but tear off the excess just put that to the side and since air dry clay, especially Daiso clay, tends to dry out really easily I suggest wrapping up the clay you're not using just to keep it from drying out drying out, drying out, drying, drying out anyways, so take your toothbrush now and just pat it to give it some texture and this is just a normal toothbrush. I wouldn't say the brushes are especially hard or especially soft. So you can try different toothbrushes out and different tips, you know, brush tips, and see what works best for you. And I'm just going to give it a little texture. And this toothbrush, I just washed it so it's a little wet. So I'm going to take this one. I know it's a little dirty, but it's not dirty. It has paint on it. But anyways, I'm going to use this one. And then I'm just going to tap on the sides here to give it a little frill and pull that out and keep the round shape make sure it doesn't get smushed if you want it to like melted ice cream I suppose you could smush it down anyways keep the round shape and then just take your toothbrush and tap the edges I like to lift them upwards a little bit so it gives it a more realistic look. And if you want ice cream scoops without the frills, you can just, you know, after you rip it off, just smooth down the edges. And just keep patting around, giving it texture. And if you want, you know, bigger frills, you can add on more clay, a loop around it, and just tap it on, maybe dab a little water on it. Now I'm going to use my toothpick to push the sides in a little bit here. And there is an ice cream scoop. I'm going to go ahead and just make up the rest because even if you saran wrap or you know put air dry clay in little baggies it will keep for a while but I like to use up what I colored so here's the finished products all my ice creams I was able to make nine out of that lump of clay and I've seen the ones I made before these are actually a light purple pastel purple but they look kind of gray on the video here, let's see how they look on the computer. But 
yeah, that's how I make my ice creams. And later on, I'll show you how I make my marble ice creams and my chocolate chip ice creams and different kinds. So please look forward to that. And yeah, leave any comments or questions below, and I'll be happy to answer them. So that's all for today, guys. Bye!